Meet Serena, your virtual companion for emotional support. The ultimate safe space to discuss your thoughts, your fears, and the ups and downs of daily life. Start your free trial today at serena.chat. My 44 female son is rude to my boyfriend but seems fine that my ex, his dad, 41 male, is dating someone too. After years of gaslighting and emotional maltreatment, I'll stop short of calling it abuse, but it definitely veered that direction. I left my age of 10 years, together for 14, in 2021. We'd been rocky for so long but the final straw came that year on my birthday when he ignored me all day, apparently in retaliation for not having been in the mood for sex a couple of days prior. He hadn't been nice to me in years. Newsflash. Healthy, self-respecting women typically aren't turned on by jerks. The birthday slight was so blatant and in character that it was almost funny. We had the talk a few days later. Two months after that, he moved out and there's been no attempt at a reconciliation outside of him handing me a note saying he'd like to move back in and knows our son, now nine, would be thrilled to have him back in the house. I politely said no, we work better unmarried. The divorce was final a year after the talk. A few months ago, I started talking with a guy who'd been in my orbit for years. I'd never ever thought about him romantically and barely knew him personally. But we have so much in common. It's like I'm finally seeing what a healthy relationship is supposed to look like. There's trust and emotional support and respect. It's so so different. I hadn't planned on dating. My ex had launched dating app profiles before he had even officially moved out but I was rediscovering myself, focusing on my kid, whom I have primary custody of as dad doesn't want it and is emotionally unstable anyway. The kid is reaching an age where mom is safe and reliable but not very cool and dad can do no wrong. Dad lets him stay up late, watch inappropriate stuff and say cruel, profane things. Dad is awesome, mom's comparatively a dud. I get it. I'm a child of divorce too. Not surprisingly, the kiddos meh on me dating someone. I limit how much they're around each other because I get it, and also because I had two sets of abusive stepparents and am naturally protective of my child. I see the boyfriend in the two days per week the ex sees the kid, though there are a few hours of overlap here and there, often because the kid asks to come home early from his dad's a fair bit. The guy I'm dating is amazing. This is the healthiest relationship I've ever had. He adores me, he gives me space, he's not controlling in the slightest, he went all out for my GD birthday. I've never felt so healthy. Plus because he's been in my orbit I know him. I know his quirks, he has healthy friendships. My ex has literally no friends and I didn't recognize this red flag. We laugh all the time. We pace ourselves with the aim of keeping things healthy. He engages with my son in a friendly manner but never a stepdad type way, which I've made clear is my preference. The explicit understanding is that by entering my kid's life in any way, I expect him to be kind and supportive if my kid reaches out to him no matter what happens between the boyfriend and me. My own dad acted like a stepdaughter he'd raised for years stopped existing when he and my stepmom divorced. I'm not cool with that. My kid doesn't accept the boyfriend with open arms, which is fine. He said he worried I'd get remarried and he'd see less of his dad. I assured him that's not the case and said his dad and I both love him and we'll always be his parents. But the son still talks cruelly about the boyfriend behind his back. He gets snippy if I mention him. He's rude when the boyfriend asks how he's doing. I took all of this in stride until yesterday, when the ex said he told our son he's dating a new woman and showed him a picture of her. When I asked the son about that, in a do you have any concerns or questions kind of way, he said, she looks better than, your boyfriend. I could give two shits about the new woman. I know my ex. However great this woman might be, his mask will fall and she'll be treated like garbage sooner or later. I hope she's nice for my son Sake and there's a standing agreement that neither new partner is to be alone with our son for now. So I'm not worried or concerned about the new woman. I'm pissed that my son embraces his dad's GF, whom he hasn't even met, while being rude about my guy, who's one of the nicest humans I've ever met. I told the son, don't do that. Don't compare two people to each other like they're in competition. That's not nice. He didn't apologize but didn't argue either. I moved on. I'm curious if anyone has navigated something like this. Mostly it's frustrating being the parent with whom the kid feels significant other safe with that he can speak bluntly, be rude to and take for granted. But there's a limit, right? How do I mark that line without turning the boyfriend into more of a lightning rod? When their world is unsteady, kids often give their worst to the parent they're most secure with. Doesn't mean you don't address the behavior, which you are, but it's sort of normal. 
Your son is also entering an age that can be challenging. Add in the divorce and two parents dating and it can be bumpy. Sounds like you're doing a good job. I think you should have waited longer to introduce to your son. You've only been with this guy a few months. That's way too soon for introductions. You need to talk to your son. You assure him that you and his dad love him and he doesn't have to like anyone you date. That said there are still rules for behavior and rudeness is not acceptable and there are consequences for rude behavior. He doesn't have to like him, you won't force him to like him, but he does have to be polite. Don't let the divorce let you slide on this stuff. If you wouldn't let him get away with being rude to his teachers, relatives, or other people don't let him slide on being rude to your boyfriend. Ask him why he is so negative about your BF. Ask him to think of specifics as to why he is against the BF. Your ex is clearly bitter and feeding him lies about not seeing him as much now you have a BF. Tell your son to stop acting this way as all he is doing is hurting you, and if at any point he is anything but nice to your BF, he will lose privileges at home, i.e. no technologically. He is not here to replace his dad or stop him seeing his dad. His dad will always be his dad no matter who you date, as you just like his dad deserves to be happy. My, 27M, boyfriend cheated on me, 28F, for three weeks. I, 28F, just found out that my, 27M, boyfriend has been cheating on me. The other woman contacted me and told me that my boyfriend said him and I were separated but living together because our lease is not over for a few months. We have a nine-mo-old daughter together. He visited her at work once and went on two dates with her. When he was going on dates with her, he told me that he was working overtime. I was at home taking care of our daughter and the house. The other woman confirmed that they never had sex, only kissed. They have known each other for 10 years. Dated once in 2016 and another in 2018 but have not dated since. The part I'm most upset about is the things he would tell her. He said things to her like, you're the one that got away. We should have had kids together instead, and we're planning a life together. He is very remorseful. He wants to do everything he can to fix this and prove to me that this was a one-time thing. I kicked him out. He wants me to let him come back him so he can prove to me with actions and words that he will never do this again. And he just keeps saying he's sorry and how much he messed up. He has therapy set up for Monday. He has bad mommy issues. His mom is a drug addict and neglected her children. She would lock him and his younger siblings in a room for days while she would go binge. At four, he was changing his younger siblings' diapers and giving them what little food he could find and was starving himself. His father gained custody eventually but his father is not a nice man. His father remarried to a wonderful woman, when my boyfriend was in eighth grade, and she showed my boyfriend what motherly love is. He said the reason why he cheated was because I was not giving him the emotional love he needed at home. His stepmom filled a void for him. And when he moved out, he has been looking for the void to be filled. I filled it for him but when I had our daughter, all of my focus shifted from him to our daughter. So I was no longer filling that void for him. I read only 15% of couples actually survive infidelity. I'm looking for advice on how to move past this. I love him and believe him when he says that this was a one-time thing. I believe his remorse and his willingness to fix things. I want to hear stories of others who have worked through infidelity and are still together. Too long did not read. My boyfriend emotionally cheated on me for three weeks. How do I work past it? Edit. He started therapy today to work through his childhood trauma. He presented me with an infidelity workbook to help us navigate through this at home. He said he wants to do one lesson a week on Tuesdays after our daughter is put down for bed. He has also designated Fridays for date night, mental check-ins to talk about the week. What we didn't like what was frustrating, things we did like, etc. which in turn will set us up for a good weekend. With time, he also wants to mend the relationships between him and my family members individually to show how serious he is on this not happening again. With all of that, and the remorse in his words and voice, I truest believe this will not happen again. The time he spent with the other woman, is time that he chose to not spend with you and his child. Cheaters always bring up mental health, their childhood issues or anything else to justify their cheating and absolve them from any accountability. He doesn't even want to take responsibility for his own actions, meaning the chances of him doing it again, are too damn high. And what remorse? He's saying you're to blame for his cheating because you're a new mom. While you were taking care of your child, he was spending time with another woman and neglecting his part in parenting. Cheats are nothing but predictable. 
Your boyfriend's actions are his responsibility to fix. He essentially said that it's your fault he cheated on you because you were focused on his totally dependent baby instead of him. Really? This guy? This is the guy you want to be with? This is the guy you want to set relationship goals for your daughter with? Don't do it. Leave him. Those 15% that do survive is because the cheating partner admitted to their mistakes, took accountability, and did not place the blame on the other partner. Assuming he didn't do any of these things based on your post, not sure why you want to continue based on love. Please think about your daughter and if this is something you would want her to go through. Please give her the best role model and do what is best for you and her, not him, f him and his needs. Condoms are missing from bag given to my 32 female husband, 39 male after vasectomy. Pretty much what the title says. After my husband had a vasectomy he was given a bag with 30 condoms. Why do I know there was 30? A few months ago I saw a conversation between him and a client that to me, was inappropriate for a married man. It wasn't outright, bad. But he reached out to this woman because she was divorcing and wanted to let her know he was there for her if she needed anything. They talked about the ex so briefly and he said the man should have been happy he could possibly get down with, two hotties, and she responded with, I know right? Then again he said he can't do much but if she needed anything to let him know. She then said something about them grabbing a drink to which he said they'd definitely get together. I confronted him about it and he said it was nothing. He was just trying to be there for someone going through something. We fought. I expressed how this to me was highly inappropriate and crossing a line. We moved on. So, when he got this giant bag of condoms my anxiety inside told me to count them. There was 30. Yesterday, I worked and then took my little one to Disney. It's my last day off with her for two months. I offered many times for him to come and he declined every time. This morning, he's gone for work by this point. I notice the paper bag that they are inside is open and off to the side of our dresser where it was not before. I counted them. There is 28. He doesn't go out with friends or anything like that where he would give one away in a bro moment. We don't use them so he wouldn't ever need one on him. I'm sick to my stomach. My body is tingling. I don't know what to do. Did I miscount, four times, and there was actually 28? Was there actually 28 and I'm remembering this incorrectly? What do I say? Do I say anything? What is he going to say? What do I believe, not believe? Do I wait to see if more disappear? I'm reeling and I'm trying not to. Your heart knew to count. Your heart wants to be wrong. You know you're right. He's going to say he gave them to a friend who needed them. He's never going to admit to cheating. I'd keep quiet and start being a detective or hire a detective to find out the truth. Ask him who he used two condoms with, straight up. You knew there were 30. So he's flirting with someone who cheated and then condoms go missing. I know, mostly women, in relationships we're hounded to respect privacy and often overthink ourselves into a hole but your feelings are valid. I don't have a right answer but I do know you need to trust your gut whatever that may mean to you. If it's an iPhone go into messages, filters and recently deleted. A lot of people don't know that's there if he did delete it. I, 20M, walked in on my GF, 19F, sleeping in bed with a random guy. A little backstory, we have been together for two and a half years and lived together for two years. We were having some disagreements because I was upset she was basically ignoring my texts to her all day while she was active on Snapchat so I confronted her about it and apparently she was texting this guy all day and ignoring me so I got pissed off and she got upset I was being insecure, so I decided to stay the night at my mom's. I come back at 4 a.m. in the morning to grab stuff for my day at work when I see her and this guy she was texting sleeping fully clothed together in our bed. I didn't wake either of them up to avoid drama I grabbed what I came over for and left. Later that day I asked her if she had anyone over that night and denied it and when I told her I seen it she said she was drunk and he drove her home so he just stayed the night and slept in same bed because there was nowhere else to sleep. The issue with that is we literally have a couch that turns into a bed which in my opinion is literally more comfortable than our bed. So I asked her for a break and that I'll consider our steps forward while I stay at my mom's and she agreed. Fast forward a week later I see this same guy driving her car in town. Then a few days later it's her birthday and she starts begging for me back while she's on vacation at a big Airbnb getting drunk with a bunch of her friends and I asked her if this guy was with her and she said yes but they're not hanging out. Now she's basically begging for me back telling me how much she regrets what she did and how she's sorry for betraying me. I still love her very much but I don't feel like I can ever trust her the same. Should I give her another chance? 
Grow a backbone and show yourself some self-respect. Sorry for the tough love but this shit's pathetic. She's a liar and a cheater. Cut the contact and move on. She is shopping for your replacement, and for some reason this guy didn't work out. She needs you to help provide stability in her life so it is easier for her to find Mr. Right. Hard pass, that break should be permanent. You are way too young to get stuck in that kind of relationship, you deserve to have someone that respects and cares about you. Do you even need to ask this? Have some self-respect. You're paying rent on her place to bring other guys home to sleep with? Why?